And of course, obviously, if you do say win out and if you're talking about playing well and you do win out and San Francisco does lose one more game, you could still be the one seed. I mean, that is still out there for you to to grasp. The question I have for you is, is, is how do you clean these things up? I, I understand the play better and just be better mentality um, is something I've been around coaches for such a long time is is the reality of it. But how do you affect something like that? Coach. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Again, you want to repeat. I, I, am I going to give away all the secrets of what we feel like <laughs> we're going to do here? No. Okay. Um, I do respect the the question. You got to, but Rich, you got to try. I know you've been doing this a long time. You know, you yes. got to try to get that answer from me. Um, but you know, we have different th- thoughts of, and one thing is you always want to try to do the things you're doing well and, and repeat those things and, and do the, again, what is it? What's your identity? What are you doing? Well, um, that doesn't mean you don't do different wrinkles off of that. That doesn't mean you don't do other things, but you always want to try to identify that and repeat those things. And what can your, what do your guys do well? Um, and that's our job. Like, so I always put it on myself as a coach first is that we got to put them in positions to succeed uh, first and foremost. Um, Cause we definitely have the guys in this, in this building to go out there and execute. There's no doubt in my mind. So obviously, you know, you're not giving away the details, but uh, does that mean folks in Philadelphia shouldn't make up their own signs and stand outside your facility and, and stand out there for messages to you like to run the ball? Should they just save the paint or the poster board? <laughs> Coach? You know what? They, they, I love this fan base, passionate <laughs> fan base. Yes. Um, and they, you know what? They got it. They, they're going to say how they feel, right? They're right. going to say how they feel. They're going to say how they feel when we're not playing well. They're going to say how they feel on Sundays when we are playing well to that opposing team as well. So you can't have one without the other, in my opinion. And hey, listen, criticism is is a good thing. You know, you might not like criticism um, as a coach, as a player, but it, it, you know, can you identify the criticisms that are granted and that you need to fix and improve on? Right. And can you block out the criticisms that are a little bit crazy? Right. And, and that's an art, that's a skill because, <laughs> you know, and like, you got to be able to do that because that's what I'm doing as a head coach. Like I'm getting up there and I'm, and I, I don't want to say criticize, but I'm making corrections of what needs to happen both with the coaches and with the players and with myself. And so if we're all stuck to this, I'm not taking this criticism, then you can't grow. Right. And again, it like, you laugh. It's like there's you got to know what criticisms to block out, and you got to know what criticisms that you can think on and ponder on for a little well, bit. Well, the reason why I'm laughing is I'm just up. I'm from up the Turnpike originally in Staten Island, Nick, and um, I know you better have that gene in you if you want to coach and be successful where you're coaching. I mean, you, mm-hmm. you better have that. I mean, because I've seen so many coaches of all sports, baseball, basketball, hockey get spit up and chewed out in the Northeast if they cannot do what you just said. That's why I, I laughed. You know, I, yeah. I know that mentality, but I'll, I'll take one more swipe and, at this with you. And, I'm a, and, and Rich, I'm from the, like, I'm not going up the turnpike. I'm going west in Jamestown, New York. That's yes. where I'm from. So you, right? you I, I'm know. used to that criticism as well. I know. I'm out here, I live out here in Southern <laughs> California, and sometimes people think I'm angry just the way I talk. I'm like, no, no, that's, that's just my that's my inflection. Hey, like, that's just the way I talk. You, I, know? you know what? I, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. So <laughs> I, I will take one more swipe at it. So you said Hit that it. there are some criticisms that you think there are maybe warranted. Which which criticisms do you feel or critiques that you feel are warranted with your team? You know, Coach again, right like we, we have to, we have to play better. And there, and there are, you know, there's going to be criticisms when you're not play, like, do we need to run the ball better and run the ball more? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We, you know, that like now different games, circumstances, uh, you know, require different things, but we know, we know what we got to do. We know what type of team we are and we have to put the guys in positions to succeed in the run game more. And we got to And we got to get some more going uh, calls going uh, with it. Again, that every game, I, I will do it. But now I say this, Rich, like, yes, we got to run the ball more. But if we feel like the best thing to do this next game is to pass it 50 times to win, we'll do what we think we need to do to win. And that's, you know, and that's my job as the head coach. And and so that that's just one, for instance, Rich. I know there's a lot of criticisms right now after the last <laughs> few games, but that's just one, for instance, to, uh, you know, that it's been more of a, um, a topic that, that I know that, I've had to address. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.